There's this viral police beating video that's so f gnarly. I don't think I can actually show it in this video, but I want to talk about it. Unfortunately, that's just the way the YouTube policy is. I don't want this video to get suppressed. So if you want to see the actual video, you just have to search police Mulberry, Arkansas, because that is where this beating and arrest happened yesterday. And if you haven't already seen it, it's a 34 second video taken by a bystander. It shows three officers holding a man to the ground of a parking lot. There are three officers on top of this man. One officer is repeatedly punching this man in the head, then grabbing his head and slamming it into the concrete several times. A second officer continually knees and kicks the man in the legs and back while a third holds him down. And that clip absolutely blew up online, of course, resulting in the reactions that you've come to expect with stories like this. And since going viral, we've gotten more information about it. State police have now identified the man as 27-year-old Randall Worcester of Goose Creek, South Carolina. With the jail booking information reportedly indicating that Worcester is white and outlets noting that the three officers involved also appear to be white. And as far as what happened in the lead up to this video, you had a local news station reporting that Crawford County Sheriff Jimmy DeMonte said the police had been called about a man making terroristic threats to a convenience store employee, also claiming that Worcester spit on the employee and threatened to cut off their face. The Sheriff then saying that Worcester rode a bike to another location where he was met by two Crawford County deputies and one Mulberry police officer, saying the interaction between the four men started out as calm and Worcester actually handed them a pocket knife. But then he allegedly began attacking one of the deputies, pushing him to the ground and punching him in the back of the head, which the sheriff claimed is what led to what was seen in the video. And according to the state police, after this, Worcester was sent to the hospital before being released under the custody of a county jail, where he currently faces charges of second degree battery, resisting arrest, refusal to submit, processing an instrument of crime, criminal trespass, criminal mischief, terroristic threat threatening and second degree assault. With it also being reported that Worcester has a prior battery on a police officer charge in Oklahoma from 2021. Now, all that said, as far as the officers in that video in a Facebook post just this morning, the Crawford County Sheriff's Office identified them as Deputy Zach King, Deputy Levi White, and Mulberry Officer Thel Riddle. Also yesterday after the footage started gaining a lot of traction and backlash on social media, we saw relevant law enforcement agencies responding quickly. On Facebook, Sheriff DeMonte said that he had requested that the Arkansas State Police conduct an investigation and saying that the deputies have been suspended pending the outcome of the investigation. The Mulberry Police Department and also issuing a separate statement saying that the officer involved in this incident had been put on administrative leave pending an investigation by state police. And as far as what happens next, you have the Arkansas State Police confirming last night that they have now opened a use of force investigation into the officers and will submit their findings to the Crawford County prosecutor. But for now, that's where we are. Of course, we'll have to see what comes from the investigation. But of course, the court of public opinion always open. And so with everything that we're seeing, all the claims that are being made, uh, I want to pass the question off to you. What are your thoughts with this?